Hi, I'm Daniela Cruz, and today ATW connects Joan Davido, Gallery Director of Site 131, with Anne Domgard, one of the artists in the gallery's exhibition, Structured. Anne Domgard, we are so pleased to be able to do an art chat with you <laughs> internationally. It's our first. So That's thanks for doing this. Thank you. We wanted to know a few things from you. How did you ever decide to be a fashion designer? Uh, actually, I, I decided it, uh, uh, I actually wanted to be a, a sculptor, sculptor, an artist, but uh, I thought it was more familiar to me to go into textile or fashion uh, design because of, uh, the most of my family was into that. Uh, and I actually love clothes and fabrics and movements. So when did you make that transition? In the design school, I think I was most attracted to the more artistic uh, assignments we got. Uh, and I always like uh, turned it into a more artistic way. If I could, if I could be able to do it, I, 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 I did it. I just continued with that after I finished the school. Uh, I just continued to, be, to, to work with more artistic projects and uh, were invited to exhibitions. And then it was it, it actually one exhibition took the other and, and, and like that. Yeah. So was that considered your undergraduate work or your graduate work? My graduate work, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's counsel for other artists about figuring out about how they go forward with their talent. So that's fun to know. Yeah. <laughs> then you do not see these works to be worn. I think I see it as, as a dress as a kind of medium, uh, like uh, if a painting is a medium, or a sculpture is a meeting, uh, medium. It's my, uh, my medium for doing an artistic expression. So I, did, I don't think that much about uh, if it shall be worn or not. I, in my imagination, it is worn. So, so it fits uh, a, a, a woman and it, it, it's made to, to, to fit on a body and to move with the body. Do you ever see yourself in the garments that you create? Uh, maybe one or two times, but <laughs> it's many years ago. <laughs> Do you ever wear them? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's unusual to us. So this was your first exhibition in the U.S. How do you see it impacting your work going forward? I'm sure it, it, it will have a big impact on my work going forward because uh, I made this very, very open-minded uh, way of looking at art and, and talk about art. Uh, and, and that really made a big impression on me to the, the way, uh, yeah, the, the, the way people are <laughs> in the U.S. And, and that is inspiring me a lot to have this open-minded way. And I met so many art-loving people and very professional people. And I, I think that will make an, a big impact of my, on my work. But you don't, ha what? But you don't what? have a clue yet how that will trans transfer. Mm, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm very of American art myself and, and maybe uh, that could make an impact on my work because I, I, I love the, the, the post uh, World War American abstract uh, artists and I saw a lot of them in, in Dallas and Fort Worth and I think that that can maybe uh, have an effect of what I'm doing the next time. That, that will be fun to watch for. So maybe what else um, comes to mind that you might want to share? Yeah, that I hope it's not for the last time I come to the U.S. I know I will come back uh, to, to work uh, in Corsicana. It's, uh, we have a plan about that. And I hope that I got the chance maybe to, to show my stuff uh, somewhere else in the States. Uh, I, 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 really hope, I really hope so. So we'll look forward to that. Thank you, yeah. Anne Domgard. Thank you. You can find more on the gallery at site131.com. You can find more on Anne at annedomgard.dk. Thanks for watching.